Good morning Gemini, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles, my name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and just get started Gemini. This reading today that I'm doing is going to be a much shorter one, it's not going to be as long as the ones I have been doing. Oh my god, the shuffling, what is going on? It's like the cards don't want to be shuffled. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to see what's coming through for you in love and relationship. You guys take what speaks, leave what doesn't. If you feel that you're connecting in with the messages, then be sure to hit that like button to let me know. Equally, if you haven't already done so, you can support the channel by subscribing. In turn, you will be notified of every time I release a new video here. And at the moment, I've been releasing two videos a week, okay? So if you don't want to miss that, then be sure to stay subscribed. This card wanted to come through. We've got the Empress in reverse. Uh, we have the Five of Cups reversed, and we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. For some of you Geminis out there, you're, you may be connecting in with a Libran or a Taurus, We've got strong Taurian energy with the Page of Pentacles. Equally, you could be connecting to a Virgo or a Capricorn or possibly someone younger than you. Okay. Lots of messages are coming through, Gemini. I haven't even started. Okay, with the Empress here, I feel that someone here that you're connecting to may not want children. Okay, they may not want children um, because they already have children. For some of you, this person may already have children, but for others of you, I'm getting uh, that they don't want children. We've got the Seven of Swords that have come out, but I don't feel like that wants to be in the read. I feel like this one wants to be in the reading. Uh, I feel like there's some kind of truth coming out into the open this week or someone knows they need to get honest about maybe a topic of conversation here we've got the nine of cups reversed okay so when the nine of cups is reversed this is about wishes not coming true okay or something that you wished or desired possibly falling through here or not manifesting this week Okay, you could have your hopes up and it's like all of a sudden this week you see your hopes and dreams uh, being shattered. Mm. We do have the Ace of Cups at the bottom here. We've got the Strength card. You could be connecting to a Leo here. It's like someone is denying the other happiness. That's what I'm getting, like someone is denying the other person happiness or, yeah, that's the only way I can see that. Ace of Cups Reverse tells me here that tears may be shed. The Ace speaks to someone new or maybe this is something new that started but never really lifted off of the ground. Maybe you saw potential but it's like... It's left you feeling dissatisfied, disappointed, unhappy here. When the Empress is reversed, this is speaking to no growth. Okay, so maybe you or this individual that you're connecting to cannot see a future here. Maybe you look at this person, Gemini, and you're like, you know what? I don't see this person being the mother or the father of my children. If they don't want children, then I cannot be with this person. Even with the Seven of Wands reversed here, this is like I'm not fighting for this connection, so I'm not fighting for it. This is someone who is releasing it. They're releasing it because they can't see growth. I feel that this person is quite selfish. King of Pentacles reverse. This is a stubborn energy here. Someone's being stubborn here this week. 
perhaps they're putting the material world or their status above the relationship or above the connection. When I see the King of Pentacles reverse, this is an energy of someone whose status is really important to them. Success is really important to them. Work, business, career is like really important to them. Nine of Pentacles here speaks to someone who's living the lifestyle, lapping it up. Um, it's a very independent energy. This is an energy of someone who prefers to be single, living that kind of a lifestyle. So someone here is making a decision to live the single lifestyle. Or, the, the, yeah, they don't want children here. Or they, they don't see a long-term relationship here. Even with the Page of Pentacles reverse, this is like I'm withdrawing my commitment. This is someone who isn't committed. You're seeing that this individual isn't someone that you really want to place all of your value or your energy into. This is a withdrawal of investment. The Five of Cups is, it's like, I'll be sad, but I won't be sad for too long. Because I see someone picking themselves up and moving on. And I also see it as a card of no regret. So someone here is not regretting uh, their decision. Or perhaps the person that you're dealing with is showing no remorse. But let's just explain, expect, explain, expand on the Five of Cups. Spirit angels of life, can we expand? Yeah, this is someone who's walking away, not fighting for the connection, and then, like, they don't care about it, or they don't, they don't feel remorseful for that. Strength card. Could be connecting to a Leo. I feel like this person is holding back. They're resisting working on this or advancing it forward. I'm also getting with the strength card a cockiness or an like an over-the-top confidence. I feel like this person has a very big ego, Gemini. Yeah, look at this, Five of Pentacles, someone leaving someone out in the cold and not giving a damn about that. Yeah, I just get like, did this person even have any feelings? Someone could be shutting the other person out here. It could be affecting your self-esteem. You could be feeling not really good about yourself, Gemini, because this person is giving you the cold shoulder or blocking you out. Let's get some messages in regards to this person. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And I feel like that's the problem right there is that this person that you're connecting to really isn't making the effort. Okay, they could be just pouring all of their energy into their business or their career and they're not making the effort for this relationship or this connection. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, I do feel that this person is very controlling or there's like a dictatorship that comes through this person. Again, very, very stubborn, very, very set in their ways. This person is very set in their ways. And it's like, you can't work with that. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek.
perhaps this person has already been in a committed relationship, like they've gone down that road, they've been married, they've done, they've had children, they've done all the things, and it's like they don't want to do that again. I'm just going to, um, I know that goes against the grain of the title of the card, but that's the, I have to listen to my intuition. Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just feel when the Seven of Cups is reversed, this is closing off the option. It's, it's like closing off the option to have anything more with you. It's like it's not on this person's vision board. I don't feel that this person is entertaining other options either. I do feel that this person has committed elsewhere before, possibly had children or gotten married before, and they don't want to do it again. Two of Cups. This person isn't looking for long-term relationship. They're not ready for a relationship. I don't feel like this person is ready to have something serious here. I feel like this person has gone through a divorce or a separation. Six of Pentacles. But I feel like they're happy to, with the Six of Pentacles, to be in a situationship. As long as you're willing, that they'd be happy for that. But at this point, I don't feel like they're willing to invest into anything long term. I feel like this person isn't ready for that. And they're very much uh, happy to remain um, or living this single lifestyle or just be kind of like married to their business. So there's the reading, Gemini. Hopefully this was helpful at, at this time. And until next time, take care.